Welcome to Electron Online. Our next example is y equals x squared minus 9, a quadratic equation. And we're trying to solve the quadratic equation. But in other words, we're trying to find the places where the graph representing that equation crosses the x-axis. So what kind of equation are we dealing with here? In order to solve it, we have to set y equal to 0. Why is that? Well, whenever something crosses the x-axis, at that point, anywhere along the x-axis, the y-coordinate is equal to 0. So to find the points where it crosses the x-axis, we need to set y equal to 0. Set y equal to 0, which means that this quadratic equation now becomes 0 equals x squared minus 9. And now we're looking for the values of x that will set the left side equal to the right side that will solve this equation. So we're going to do that by factoring the right side and notice that it's the difference between two squares. This can be written as 0 equals x squared minus 3 squared. And when you factor the difference of squares, it's done as follows. 0 equals the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3. And now again, we have two binomials that are multiplied together like this. And in order for two items, two quantities, to be multiplied together and give a zero, that means either one or the other must be zero. This means that either x plus 3 must equal zero or x minus 3 must equal zero. In this case, x equals negative 3. And in this case, x equals 3. So it does look like there's two places where the graph will cross the x-axis. Going over here, we know that it crosses at x equals minus 3, and it crosses at x equals plus 3, which means that the graph, the parabola, and since the number in front of the x-squared term is positive, we know the parabola opens upward, and we then can suspect that the graph will look something like this. And that's the solution to the quadratic equation. The solution is the two points where it crosses the x-axis at minus 3 and at plus 3. And that's how it's done.